Hi, my name's Teacher Trafton, and we're here at Outdoor School Bangkok, and today we're gonna do an experiment called the Soda Geyser Eruption, and it's super fun. Let's begin. Soda Geyser Eruption. What happens when Mentos candy is added to diet soda? Get your jogging shoes on and prepare for an impressive soda eruption. At the end, evaluate how big the eruption is by measuring the volume of the soda left over in the bottle. Less soda left over means a bigger eruption. Caution. This experiment produces a very big and messy eruption, so be sure to do it outside. Materials. 2 liter bottle of soda. Mentos candy. Head outside and place the bottle of soda on a flat surface. Open the soda. Quickly drop in one or two Mentos. And run away. How much is left in the bottle? Similar to Dancing Raisins experiment, the soda erupts in an impressive column of foam because of the nucleation sites found on the rough surface of the Mentos candy. There are tiny holes on the candy surface that bubbles of carbon dioxide attach to. When a bottle is, of soda is open, some of the carbon dioxide bubbles escape. However, millions more bubbles are stuck in the soda and can't escape out the top because they are too tiny to work their way up through the soda. When a Mentos candy is added, millions of tiny bubbles form on the surface of the Mentos, forming bigger bubbles that can escape. With such a huge rush of bubbles flying out of the soda at once, the soda gets pushed out too, creating an exciting foamy eruption. The two additives in diet soda are important too. Aspartame and potassium benzoate make it easier for gas bubbles to form in the soda, causing a faster, more explosive geyser to shoot out of the top. Thanks for watching. That was really fun, right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye.